What's up everybody, I'm Jesse Showalter and in this episode we're going to be talking about the three things that you absolutely need to land your very first paid position as a creative. And guess what, not a single thing that I'm going to talk about today has anything to do with experience or portfolio. Let's do it. So the other day I was on Twitter and I saw this really interesting tweet come through my feed and it goes a little something like this. If you are a senior designer or an employer looking for a junior designer, what characteristics or work, et cetera, would you like to see on a portfolio? And somebody responded, Mr. Jason Ogle said, since they likely don't have a lot of real world experience under their belt, I really wanna know who they are as an individual. And that really started blowing my mind. It started making me think of what I had available when I first started as a creative? And the answer to that is absolutely nothing. I had like zero. But with all that being said, I still got jobs. I got an internship. And then from that internship, I got my first paid position, like a full-time 40 hour a week in-house graphic design position. From there, I, I, I got my first job at a creative agency. And from there, I went freelance for a couple of years. So how did all of this happen from a guy who had absolutely zero to offer? Okay, listen up. All three of these are gonna start with the letter P and I didn't plan for it to be like that, but it just kind of jumped out of my heart when I started tweeting back my reply. So it's not clever. It was just what happened. The first thing that I'd want to see as a senior designer that's hiring or some sort of company that's looking to hire somebody is I want to see passion out of you. I want to see that you care about this, that you're excited about this, but the real red flag is if you don't have a lot of passion. What are you reading? What are you looking at? Do you know names of designers? Do you have a favorite style? Is there a reason you love design? That's the person that I want to hire. That's the person that I want in a position because they're teachable and they're excited and they're willing to go the extra mile to accomplish something amazing. Show me passion and you've shown me a lot of who you actually are. All right, the second letter P that's absolutely crucial to you getting your foot in the door is pursuit. Now passion and pursuit go hand in hand and they overlap a little bit where passion is that excitement, that love, that joy, that desire that's internal, that's inside of you for this thing that you're wanting so badly. Pursuit on the other hand is you actually walking it out, actually attempting it, actually trying. It's not enough to to say that you have an excitement and a desire in your heart for it not to come out and work itself out in your hands. So you don't have to have necessarily a portfolio even as much as some examples of things that you've tried. I say this all the time. Get out of the perfection mentality and get into the production mentality. Start making things, start failing, start failing forward and asking for critique and feedback. Make it. It's going to be ugly and atrocious, but you are walking out your passion through this pursuit of your desire. All right, the last P that's on the list, and I think it's super undervalued and underrated in our culture today, and that is persistence. Your pursuit of the thing that you're passionate about, it's not gonna be perfect. It's gonna require persistence. Dang, that's a lot of P words. I think it was Mike Tyson that said, all plans are perfect plans until you get punched in the face for the very first time, and then everything goes out the door. Don't be afraid of rejection. Rejection is that thing that makes us stronger. It gives us character, and it helps us to be the type of person that we eventually will be one day. And so have some grit, have some heart, and keep persisting. Well, that's it. Those are the three things, in my opinion, the only three things that you actually need to get your foot in the door in the creative industry. You need passion, pursuit, and persistence. Really quickly before we go, I wanna throw out a little bonus tip for you guys. This one is incredibly important, and that's just to believe in yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel. I do lots of videos about design and development and getting your career started just like this one, so maybe stick around. I hope you guys are having an amazing week, designing amazing things, making amazing things, and getting your foot in the door where it belongs. I'll see you in the next one.